name is Dara Scott. I'm farming uh, in the parish of Cortnahu in County Tipperary. I'm making 120 dairy cows and finishing 30 to 35 bulls off the dairy herd. The system is half grazed, half zero grazed. We're a fragmented farm. The farm is in four pieces. Uh, 40 acres around the milking parlour, the rest is in four different pieces. Unfortunately, the M8 motorway is through the, the middle of the farm and we're not able to walk cows to, to grass, so we, we bring half the diet in, in a zero grazer. The cows are a uh, British Frisian herd, doing around 480 kilos of milk solids, 3.75% protein, and about 425 to 4.3% fat. We always zero grazed a little bit back to years and the shoulders. As things progressed, we needed an income off the farm and dairy cows were the only possibility to give that to us. We were milking 70 cows around 2018 and we felt that we could push the system and push more grass into cows with the use of a zero grazer from those fragmented blocks. We did ask ourselves the question, do we zero graze or do we, do we go for a more intensive system? Do we grow maize? Do we grow, grow fodder beet? Do we go for a two, two, two to three ton cow and have these inputs come in, coming in off those fragmented bits? We know, we know grass, we know how to grow grass. Other crops, they complicate the system a bit, particularly when you're feeding it all year round. I know now that two loads a day it does me every day and that is the system. The machine is 2019 and does about 550 loads a year. The workload has actually decreased because you're not running around with, with four or five different groups of animals. You have one group of animals uh, and you manage, you manage the farm to that, to that group. Cow paddocks do need reseeding more. Uh, we do find out we are under sown the, the zero grazing ground with clovers. Um, there's red clovers and white clovers going in. It just adds to the system. It, it adds milk solids to the cows on the other side. We don't go out in the spilling rain. That's why we have good silage in the yard if we're stuck. Most days you'll, you'll get, even if it's showery weather, you'll get, you'll get an hour or two where you'll go out and you'll get dry grass off the field and you won't do harm and you'll get, you'll get a, good, a good grass back to your cows. Where, where we've seen improvements is with a British Frisian cow, you get a bad night in September and she will lose two, three litres and you'll never get it back off her. While when you have fresh grass in front of her and on that, on that edgy night, she will hold that supply that little bit longer for you. If cows are getting a little bit loose, we'll, uh, we might go into, we might leave a little bit of a heavier paddock, so heavier field somewhere and go into maybe a 2,000 cover with one load and a 16 or 1,700 on, a, on the second load, just to try and get that little bit of fibre into the night. We, we'll stay caught until just, just farm cover hits whatever we want it to be at, then we'll just pull the plug on it. Any, any tractor will pull that to your grazer. I'd like to have something smaller, even a two-wheel drive tractor there for the, the summer months just to fly around the place and leave it on it, uh, just when you're working your home life, but, and not tying up the, the, the heavier horsepower machines to, uh, to the zero grazer. If someone was on the fence with a zero grazer, it's, uh, it, it, if they feel the pressure's coming on at times of the year and they need to fill a gap, I think a zero grazer is perfect for it. You're keeping feed consistent, you're not, you're not putting silage into the diet uh, and it just fills that gap for when the pressure comes on for them if the, if the, if the grass is there and out farms. My experience with grass tech, look, they were, they're good to look after the machine. Um, they are on the phone, Jim is there if you need them. There has been one or two days where, where I did break something and, and, uh, and I'd ring Jim and, and to be fair, like there'd be a part left out for me if, if there was someone passing or, or if I needed to, if I needed to get going straight away. But to be fair, I've, there's, there hasn't been a day that machine hasn't gone.